Formula Student, an engineering educational challenge for most established of its kind in Europe, inspiring students into the world of motorsport. It's a challenge for undergraduate engineers to design, build, make and eventually uh, compete against the clock in a small single-seater racing car and that brings with it elements of uh, engineering good practice, management of costs, project management and uh, Dragon's Den style business planning presentation. For some of the Formula One teams, which is a very limited number of places for the better students, their recruitment process tends to be, have you got a first, did you do Formula Student? And if that's not the case, the rest of the CV is going to skip. Early success on the first day of weekend racing went to Staffordshire University, making the final six in the acceleration event and going on to win it. We've had a couple of issues getting through the scrutineering, but that's bound to happen um, out here. They're so tough, the scrutineers, in getting everybody through. You've got to make sure everything's perfect and safe. But we've managed to get through. We got through this morning. Um, so it's been a bit hectic, but we've had a really good morning with our, uh, in terms of on track time, uh, managed to get through to the acceleration final and won the event. So that was a real team morale booster. Everybody was so happy. Stutter, however, for the otherwise impressive electric car from the University of the Basque Country. It was all smiles by the end of the weekend after winning the overall best EV award. But in the acceleration, this happened. We thought that uh, we can uh, charge the, the batteries yesterday and we thought that it was because under voltage. So we didn't attempt to uh, end the acceleration event of the top six. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do like in 45 seconds. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, a test of braking the skid pad event. An impressive showing from the team from the University of Bolton, but the heartwarming story of the skid pad came from Trinity College in Dublin, the only Irish car competing in this year's event. For the first time in three years, uh, it's our third car. First car was a rolling chassis, didn't go anywhere. Second car, the engine ran, but last year, unfortunately, our brake line blew on the brakes test. This year, for the first time ever, we completed brakes successfully. Our rear's locked up, our front's locked up, and we got through it. It's something we've never done before. We've one of the lowest budgets out here, and we managed to get it through. This is life-changing for all of us. The people on this team have worked so unbelievably hard. The dedication is astounding. The man in the car there was Adam Holmes from Kilkenny. He's a farmer, and uh, that's why the car weighs so much. And we love him. The team of a strong pedigree at Formula Student is Oxford Brooks. They'd had some issues earlier in the day, but the team were looking for a decent run in the sprint event. We had some issues this morning, um, so to get there, um, to get through the sprint event and put in a pretty decent time, um, we are really happy with that, so I think it went pretty well. We made it really late to the uh, skid pad um, and then fixed a few issues, got out for the sprint um, near the start, so yeah, it should be good. Um, get the second driver out now and hopefully we can do even better. The dedication and hard work of all the teams cannot be underestimated. This project is no small undertaking. I don't even know how to explain how much preparation and effort goes in from everybody on the team. The man hours involved in designing and manufacturing and building the car. We have the career and, and in our free time we take part in this project so it's like very time consuming. <laughs> we have to do both things, we have to study but also study for the car. Yeah. We leave home in the morning and we go home late at night so it's... <laughs> Our workshop is miles away from college. People commute hours after college, after work. They'll commute for an hour to work for half an hour. There's, there's no other team, in my opinion, that works as hard as we do. Eventual winners of Formula Student were Edith Cohen University, all the way from Western Australia.